Hello, everyone. In one way or another, the spread of COVID-19 is forcing all of us to change our daily routines. That might mean working from home, or it might mean planning how to close your business temporarily. Many of you are worried about your jobs, about paying the bills, about taking care of your kids. But know that we've got your back. We've already announced a whole range of measures to protect jobs and the economy, from new rules on employment insurance to financing for businesses. And today, we launched a $27 billion plan to help all Canadians get through these challenging and exceptional times. Combined with other measures, we're announcing a total of $82 billion to support our people and our economy. That's more than 3% of our economy. If you fall ill or have to self-isolate, but you don't qualify for EI or have access to sick leave, we'll be putting money in your pocket every two weeks. If you have kids, we're boosting the Canada Child Benefit. If you get the GST credit, we're boosting that too. And if you're an employer of a small business who's worried about paying staff, we'll give you a temporary wage subsidy to keep people on the payroll. For everyone, those experiencing homelessness or fleeing domestic violence, farmers, young workers, or Indigenous communities, this plan has targeted measures for you. We're pulling out all the stops to protect jobs and the economy. And the same goes for people's health and safety. I spoke with President Trump this morning, and we've agreed that both Canada and the United States will temporarily restrict all non-essential travel across the U.S.-Canada border. We closed our air border to people who aren't Canadian citizens or permanent residents. We took action to support Canadians who are still abroad, and we've built on what we've already done to invest in our health care system. Across the country, people like you are reaching out to support each other. You know we're in this together, and so does our team. We've been in constant contact with the provinces and territories, with Indigenous leaders and communities, and with international counterparts. Together, we can make sure that everyone has the support they need. This isn't an easy time, but it's going to get better. And until it does, let's just focus on the steps ahead. Stay home to protect your health and your family's health, but also to lift the load on our doctors and nurses. Ask how you can help out an elderly neighbour. And make sure that you're taking time for yourself to rest and do what you need to stay positive. For a little while, this will be our new normal. And that's okay, because we're in it together.